Okay, I thought it was uh, time to do another lesson. Uh, it's a very basic construction or woodworking lesson. And that is to straighten Now, I've already taken the chainsaw mill to this wood, but what I'm about to show you would work the same way as if you had just cut a tree down and it was still round. The first thing you need to do is put the log across some sawhorses fairly level. Then take a small level on each end and draw a line. Then you're going to take a batten, that piece of wood, and a screw, and then screw that wooden batten to the end on the level line. So like I say, even if this was round, you could still do this. Then you go down to the other end and you repeat the process. As you can see on this end, the chainsaw mill wasn't very square. It's pretty crooked. Take the batten screw it to the end so now you have two perfectly level planes at the end of something so if you just take a chalk line here I fumble around before I finally get it hooked fumble fumble and then take your chalk line to the other end make it as tight as you can make sure that the chalk lines not touching the piece of wood get it as close as you can but you don't want it to touch go down probably have to adjust each side as you can see here, I'll show you. If you look down this, in the middle there's a larger gap than each end, so it's slightly bowed. Not bad. Then you just snap a line. Then take the same chalk line, put it on the other side, Do the same thing. In this case, I'm going to boat in the same in, in the same direction on the other side you know it's wider at the ends in this case I'm just going to pinch it in the middle and snap it and now all I have to do is remove the wood to that line and it will be nice and straight The only problem with a chalk line is it's not very permanent.
So what I like to do take off the batten. Take off the batten. Then try to get a nice long straight edge. In this case I have a really nice eight foot level, but if you don't have an eight foot level, just find something that's straight, even if it's short. And all you're gonna do is lay that over the chalk line. And the reason you want to do that is because the chalk line is gonna disappear over time. So if you strike it with a pencil or a pin or even a knife, you'll have a clear idea about what you need to remove. So I just line it up at each end and essentially make that chalk line dark. Slide it down, line it up again on the chalk line. Finish your pencil mark. Then I'm going to flip it over. Move that axe.
Okay, quick sidebar. Instead of talking about what you should do if it's a full tree, I'm just gonna I got a little mock up here, uh, and I can quickly explain what you do if you cut down the tree. Okay. So here's my tree, and probably one of the first things you want to do is take the bark off. So I'm gonna do that real fast. There's plenty of ways to do it. I'm going to use a draw knife, but you, you may not have a draw knife. Okay, so <clears throat> here's our debarked tree, and now we're going to put those two lines on it. But in this case, we're going to cheat a little bit. And I'm just going to put this, pretend it's on a couple of saw horses. my sharpie marker like this like this may not be big enough then as you can see we have our two lines So now, this is what you have to do with the two lines. Need another tool here.
So now we're gonna set this up. thing you want to do is take a saw. It can be any saw. Maybe if it's a big tree, use a chainsaw. In this case, I'm just going to use this saw. And then you make cuts. To your line. Your line over here. And you're just going to make a bunch of these. quarter inch apart. cuts then you're And you just plane that down. Okay. Here's my mark. Let's see, I got a little bit more to take off here. So, that's how you turn a tree into a piece of lumber. So, I thought. Excuse me. I thought I was going to be able to live with the with the chainsaw look of all this porch framing, um, but I guess I'm just way too uptight for that. So I thought I'd just hand plane it with a power planer and just live with that, which I have cleaned up. You know, I've cleaned up a few sides, trying to get them straight, and for the most part, you know, they're pretty straight uh but then i just uh threw in the towel and decided to get my power tool set up 
uh, so I can, you know, properly plane them and make them as square as I can. So that's going to be the next step. Okay, so on this one, I don't think I'm going to be quite so lucky. Um, I got this two sides plane down. Um, but as I look at this, let's see, not bad. Hmm, huh. actually, not too bad. Okay. Yeah, just a little tight at the top. Actually, gotta say, that's pretty far out. It's about the, like, the furthest out it is. It's still not terrible. It's pretty bad there. So. I think I looked at on both of them, so I think I'll just plane this one and call it good.